Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more interesting tips and tutorials. Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we will create this kind of earrings in coral technique. Every strand is made uh, as a small coral. As you can see, they came very nice and elegant and you can wear them even for the evening. It depends what color you will choose because this kind of earrings can be worn as the evening earrings or in everyday life. As you can see, I, I, I know this technique very well. As uh, using this technique, I created this kind of uh, necklace. It was my examination work for uh, my diploma in jewelry making so as you can see the technique will be absolutely the same i will show you in these earrings but result can be absolutely different and uh, you can create this kind of amazing things of course it takes really really much time to create it but every time when i wear it everyone is just amazed because the work here is very very long and every strand as you can see created in the coral technique in the each end of uh, coral strand i added moonstone here i was inspired with winter with ice and snow and i really wanted to create something unusual so let's start to make earrings all necessary materials uh, what you will need for to create this kind of earrings I will put in description below this video as always. First of all, take an eye pin and thread. You need to take a thread and it's up to you how long you want your thread because during uh, our strands, during our work we still will add some thread and to add the thread it won't be a problem. Enter to the eye pin, make a knot. Take super glue, you will need just a small drop just to secure our threads and be sure that they will be on its place. I like to be extra extra careful and make my best to secure all threads that all my creations are very secure and you can wear them very very long time then we take two colors of seed beads I have this kind of gray silver seed beads and light silver seed beads my main strand will have 40 dark gray seed beads Then three seed beads of light color. We skip three seed beads of light color and we go up 11 seed beads. Then we take seven seed beads of gray color and three seed beads of light color as well skip three and enter to the seven and again to seven seed beads one more time seven seed beads of gray color keep three enter to seven and to another seven from the strand again seven gray seed beads three silver skip three enter to the seven and all the way up
make sure your strand is flexible then enter into the eye pin into the loop to make a knot our first strand is ready we will need 10 absolutely the same strands again 40 seed beads in dark color three of silver we skip three go up 11 take seven three of silver skip three enter to seven and into the seven from the main strand here is important that your thread is the same color or similar color of seed beads which you plan to add in the ends again seven skip three and into the seven and to the seven from the main strand again enter into the pin into the loop and create the knot continue all the same till you get 10 strands Here I have 8 strands ready and I will show you how to add extra thread. You will just need to go inside your pin. Just make a knot. The same as we did in the beginning. But this time, because I have just two strands left, I will add uh, super glue in the end when I will cut all my threads and uh, I will need to secure them. And we continue to make two strands as we did previously. In this model of earrings, I decided to make almost all strands and in the coral the same but of course you can uh, choose you can start maybe from the top and make some small strand here longer longer it's up to you you can choose uh, whatever you want and how many seed beads you want in your coral earrings and the same as uh, with quantity of the strands for my flower cap I need 10 but maybe your flower cap is bigger or smaller and from there you can choose how many strands you will need my last strand is ready now I will need to make a knot as I always do and I will make a knot with one of the threads what is left on my earring Just to be sure, I will make make it double. Now I take all my threads and 
I cut them. And then super glue. And I put on the threads. And then I take my flower cap. Hole here is quite big, so I will just take one seed bead to cover it. See, it's going perfectly inside. And then Bicon Crystal. I bend the pin. I cut the extra and I leave around one centimeter to create the loop. I take my earring clasp, I attach it and I close my loop. Our earrings are ready. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you found new techniques for your creation. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Don't forget to like this video, as uh, every like is very important to me. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day. Bye!